what's up y'all as you guys can see we're doing a full tutorial in-depth tutorial for dvg's thumbnail and really all we have to do is basically you know make the little viewfinder effect and then put you know the titles and stuff i'm gonna just go ahead with the video and you know do stuff so right here i already have stuff i'm gonna uh, choose all of these merge them together you don't have to worry about it so the first thing i want to do is mask them out so i'm gonna zoom in starlight right here and i'm gonna get my tool pin and then tool and i'll be right back with it so yeah you want to pin them out all you have to do is hold it for the like the curves then hit Control z when you don't want it no more okay so now that we have we have this little outline of them and when you get to the bottom here all you have to do is like make a make a little curve down here so what you want to do is on your keyboard hit make sure you still have your pen tool so hit uh, right click it make selection keep it as zero hit okay and then there you go you'll see these little ants so what you want to do on your keyboard Hit Control C, then to Control V. Then it will make another copy of him, but without the background. Now you can see the background through his hair, so let's mask that out. So do the same thing like you did before, but make sure you're selected on this layer. So after you're done doing that, right click, make selection, hit zero, and hit OK. So now what you want to do is on your keyboard, hit delete. So now all I have to do is the rest. You, you're not going to, oh, and if you don't want the dance ants, hit control D. So you ain't going to really see this because you will have a white, white outline. So yeah. So now that we have our layer, oh, let me hit control D, I don't want that no more. So now we have our layer, tap on your layer, double tap now, hit stroke. Uh, if it's not white, click white. And now nah, I'm going for the outside look. How uh keep it at 10. now you can do the drop shadow this is my you could copy these settings it's my drop shadow settings and yeah okay so now that we have it all saved we can make the background blurry so we want to hit filter blur motion blur uh, adjust it like so hit okay so now that you're at this part all you have to do is put some color in it so right now click right click on this picture select pixels now you see the dancing ants again so you're gonna get your brush tool out keep it at 800 go for the color of your choice my choice is orange I'm gonna have a darker orange. So then I'm gonna go around the edges just like that. If you don't want to hit Control Z, 
I don't want to touch his hair. So yeah, we're going to create another layer and put it under your DDG layer or your picture or whatever. We're going to put spots around them and stuff. Uh, we're going to change the color too. Let's do green. There you go. There you go. So now that we have that, uh, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, if you guys want to like make it like a little softer, you can come here to this little panel here and see what you can do. So right now I'm kind of messing with overlay, but I want to see what feel. Nah, maybe soft light. Yeah, overlay, overlay. Okay, so now I have it on overlay. C hit Control M, Control M on on the image that you layered out. Then bring it down here like this. Make you want to make an S from right here. Then bring it up a little bit so you can bring that bring that contrast up. So now you have something like this. So, so now all you have to do is look up black and white thumbnail background and it will pop up like this. So what you want to do is save image, save as and keep it there. Okay, now you want to insert your image. You want to bring it down under that. You know what? Now you want to resize it. Resize it so you can see it. It doesn't matter if it has to be blurry because you're not really going to see it. So now you want to go through all your options. So now that you, you have all your options, you want to hit soft light. You can find it in this tab right here. Now you want to hit control T, size it, and put it like in the middle somewhere like that. Then hit the check mark up top. Then you want to drag it down under your layer so you can have something like this. So now you can see like it's kind of like a tiny symbol or something. You can like remember as that. Create a mask, then get your your uh, thingy, get your paintbrush. Now you want to go to this section with the size. You want to bring it down a little bit, bring it up to where it's good. It's too much, definitely too much. And we could we could keep it like that and keep the hardness at zero. Now you just want to do that so you don't get any hard edges. So now you have that, you press all this layer, control and move it. Then we just want to bring up the detail like that. Just bring up the detail, something like that, you know. Like that. I'll place embedded. Place. Yeah, keep it like that. Then put it under. Under that. So now we have that. Hit filter on the house. Uh, blur. Blur. Come on, man. Blur. Motion blur. Keep something like that. We can see it, but it's still blurred. Okay, so now that we have our stripe lines, put it on top. You don't have to do anything to it. Well, it depends on how your size is, but make sure you know it's up to the border. Hit the check mark. What we're gonna do is turn down the fill to make it something like that. And you wanna get your, your little recording thingy. If you want to know where to get this, it's on my last video, so go check that out. Go to something that you can see. So I can see something like that. Get the eraser, erase whatever you don't want. Okay. Okay, so that should be looking good. Uh, hit Control T to move it. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Okay, so now that you did that, go to filter, distort, 
spear rise. Zoom out a little bit. And now you can like control this like that. I'm gonna just do 100. See what it is. Yeah, that looks good. Control T. Let's bring out the contrast in it. There you go. Then let's put the text, bring it under you know, those two layers, the speed lines. Then we could probably put like, Then now you want to make, then you want to hit okay. Then you want to make full thumbnail tutorial. You want to make a new layer. This is your, oh, you want to make a new layer. So this will be the new layer, the tutorial part. Then the full thumbnail will go up. Full thumbnail is a different layer. Tutorial is another layer. So now I'm doing tutorial. So now that you have full thumbnail tutorial to get styles, you really just have to look up style like Photoshop styles and then install it on Photoshop and then you should be good. So I kind of want something like that, but I'm going to change the color. Yeah, I'm going to get orange. Okay, then we go do that like that. Hmm, how? Hmm. Yeah, something like that. So hey, okay. Now you want to click on your text little tool over here. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate the layer. Hit OK. Hit Control T. Make it a little bigger like that. Hit like that. Then you want to Control, Control, merge these together. We'll rise, rise like type. Then merge. Then do the same thing as the bottom layer. So now that you should have something like that. Now what I can do, if you want to, like if you want to, you can probably, because you have to download this. You can get it for free, but it costs, but you can you can get it for free. So you could do magic bullet, magic bullet looks. This for like the real editor editors. So you don't have to do it. It's already like contrast enough, but I don't, you know, you never know. You, you can make a thing look better. So right now I'm just doing his faith. Okay, let me see what this looks like. Uh, let's go take a minute to load in. So, well actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. You don't have to do it, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so now that I like what I like and I see what I see, so I'm basically just gonna end it off here. You know, you got the little, the little recording thing. You got the, the eyeballs, you got the full thumbnail, the tour, you got DVG. So that's what I like. That's what I'm going to have. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and like. And yeah, peace. <laughs>